Assalamu alaikum. This is Fahima Guni, teacher of class 2, my student preparatory KG school from sector 7. Students, how are you? I hope all of you are staying at your home and all of you are fit and fine by the blessings of Allah. Students, nowadays we can't come to the school. That's why all the teachers of my student school they are arranging online classes for you. Students, today I will take your math class. Okay students, you have started relation of addition and subtraction. So from there we will do two word problems today. Students, take your CW copy and Give there the topic name, the relation of addition and subtraction. From your elementary math book, page number 36. This one will be your topic. Okay. Students, today we will discuss and solve two word problems. That one problem is problem number 5 and another one is problem number 6. Okay, students. You have done what problem previously? There you have learned in what problem three things are important. One is statement writing, two is calculation and number three is answer writing. I know all of you have remembered all these things. Okay students, now all of you follow me to the boat first. We will discuss it, we will understand it, then we will do the solution. Let's go to the board. See, problem number 5. Some children were playing in the field. Then 38 children came in the field. There are 86 children in the field now. So the question is here. How many children were playing in the field at first? That means they are asking how many children were there at first. Some children, they didn't tell us about some children. Some children is totally blank box. They didn't tell the number of the children. Okay, then what happened? 38 children came and joined them and after joining how many children are there now 86 children is in the field now so this math is a math from relation of addition and subtraction now i will let you see the real face of this problem see some children were playing. That means it is totally um, empty box. They didn't tell us the number of the children. That means some children. Empty box. Then what happened? 38 children came and joined them. That means they are adding over there. 38 children. Then what happened? After adding this how many children we are getting? 86 children are there now. Now see, you have learned previously that if you got first empty box, then plus sign, then the second number is there, then equal sign, then the total number of addition is also there. That time what you have to do? Yes, that time you have to do the subtraction. Very good. See, that's why what I have to do, I have to put the greater number on the upper side and the lower number on the down side. But we must have to use the statement, isn't it? Because this one is a what problem. See, I have done this solution over here. Students, please. Look at the board here. First, in your CW copy, you will write the topic name, then problem number 5, then you will write the solution. 
So in the first line you will write in the field because the children we are playing in the field. This one is the first line. Then what happened? There are now 86 children. There are how many children? 86 children. Then before came how many children? 38 children. So as per the following rules we have to do here what? Subtraction. That's why I have already given here subtraction sign. So we will do the subtraction now. See always we start with the ones place isn't it? But the upper number is 6. The lower number is 8. That's why what we have to do? We have to make this 6 bigger. How? This tens place will give 110 to this ones place. So see this 8 has given 110 to this 6. So this 6 becomes what? This 6 becomes 16. And this 8 has given 110 to this ones place. Now this 8 is 8. No, it becomes what? 7. See? 7. Now I can do the subtraction. See? After 8... Up to 16, I will count. See, after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There I have got what? 8. See, I am writing here. Then what happened? After 3, up to 7, I will count. See, 4, 5. 6, then 7. How many number we have got? 4. That's why I am writing 4. So, at first, now we are getting how many children? 48 children. So, there you will write at first. Then, you will give equal sign under the sign. Plus sign or minus sign. Whatever the sign will be there. Under the sign, you will give your equal sign. And remember always, when you are writing the digits, your digit will be always under the digit. Okay? Now see, I have got what? 48. So at first, 48 children were there. So everything has done, only answer writing is left. So answer will be, at first, 48 children were playing in the field. Okay, students. Please write it in your CW copy. Our problem number 5 has been done. Now we are going to our problem number 6. Okay students. See. Problem number 6 is. Tariq went to the market for selling mangoes. After selling 35 mangoes, there still remained 17 mangoes with him. How many mangoes did he bring to the market? Again, they didn't tell us how many mangoes at first Tariq was brought to the market. See, Tariq went to the market for selling mangoes. How many mangoes he has brought? They didn't tell. We have to find it out. See, after selling 35 mangoes, from the total number, he has sold 35 mangoes. Then what happened? How many mangoes remaining over there? 17. So, if I take the help and... Um, let you see the real face of this problem. It is like this. See, Tariq went to the market for selling mangoes. It is the total number of mangoes. See, it is totally blank. They didn't tell us the total number. Now what happened? He has sold 35 mangoes. It has been taken away. It has been sold. That means it is subtraction. Minus sign. 35 mangoes he has sold. 
So after selling 35 mangoes, how many mangoes are there now? 70 mangoes are there now. So students, in subtraction, we have learned the first number always will be greater. The first number always will be greater. That's why what we have to do? We have to do the addition. We have to add these two numbers by using statement. Okay students. This one's solution also I have done it over here. Please follow this book. See. This one is problem number 6. In the next page you will do this solution. Problem number 6 then write solution. Then your first line will be Tariq went to the market. Then write the second number will be and sold 35 mangoes. Second line this one. The third line is remained. How many mangoes are remained? 17 mangoes are remained. So, we have to find out the total number. That's why we will do here addition. See, I have already given here addition sign. So, now we are going to do the addition. Okay, see, we will always start with the ones place. So, 5 plus 7. So, 7 is already there. 7 is greater. That's why I will take 5 after 7. After 7 I will count 5 more. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 I have got. So 2 only I will write here. 2. 1 is in our hand. So, 1 I will write on the top on the tens place. Top on the tens place. Then I will count it all together. See, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So, I am writing it over here. So, see, at first he brought, he brought how many mangoes? 52 mangoes he has brought. Okay, this one is the fourth line. Okay, our statement has been done. Our calculation has been done. So, answer is left. So, answer is he brought 52 mangoes to the market. Okay, students. See this one and write it in your CW copy. Okay, students, now it's time to give you homework. I hope all of you have understand how we have done the solution. So, see, there is your homework. Practice what problem from relation of addition and subtraction, page number 36. Okay, students. Now, already we have done two word problems today. I hope all of you have understood it. And please, students, always listen to your parents and stay at your home. So, no more today. I hope all of you will be good. Okay, students. Bye-bye.